Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, I know I've been making a lot of like half video guides for characters. It's kind of difficult to like continue and play something and have fun for me sometimes. So today I've got a character that I've already leveled to 72, so you don't have to worry about that part. And if you guys remember my old Boom Boom character, I've kind of been on like in a, a Boom Boom addiction with the Death's Oath character. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my current guy. Now, this is an Infernal Blow Chieftain. You could also play it as Scion uh, because you'd get mass amounts of AoE as Scion if you played as Slayer and Saboteur or anything else that you'd like. Uh, but this is currently a Chieftain. Uh, we get Nagamu's Flame Advance for full conversion with Fire Pen. Every 10 seconds we get a huge steroid which helps us with our single target. Uh, Hinakora's Death Fury gives us uh, Fire Leech since we're pure fire. We also get a chance to cover enemies with Ash which is a multiplier. Um, and then we get Tawaho's Forest Strength, which is really cool because we get um, we get Endurance Charges, even though we use Elemental Focus in our build because of Herald of Ash. Now, I'm going to show you guys in a Blood Aqueducts because I haven't even killed Katava yet. This I, I'm not even done like clearing the axe. I'm only 72 at the moment. But anyway, I want to show you guys what the character is going to be like. So this is the weapon that you're going to want to use, um, Katava's Feast, mainly because of the mass amount of AoE. I'm sure there are many other things that you can do, but I'm kind of just going with this idea that I did before. Um, you can level up with Face Breakers. Face Breakers are really strong. You'll have near the same AoE as this. Uh, but just to show you, we've got Katava's Feast that has level 25 melee splash in it already. And we're going to be using Elemental Damage with Attacks. Infernal Blow with Ancestral Call. So we're just using a 4-link just to show you guys you don't have to use a Combs Heart and, you know, a 7-link to get the build started. Really fast just to show you guys um, how it's going to look with Elemental Focus because I was showing you you can still get Endurance Charges with Ellie Focus. I'm just going to pop this back. You can see I have Endurance Charges. Uh, one of the last things is we do get an Impresence in this build. Since it gives life, fire damage, just life regen, and it's just not bad overall. You get the reduced flammability uh, mana reservation, which means you get to run flammability. We are going to run Herald of Ash, and I'm probably going to run Aspect of the Spider. Uh, I did use Hatred to level up, but I don't really care for it right now. Now, the reason why I'm using Ancestral Call, even though I have the Melee Splash... Um, is because Ancestral Call makes it so that you don't have like the name locking issue that a lot of people complain about. So if I were to turn my character around here and attack, Ancestral Call will hit behind me. And the reason why that's good is if you're doing something like Double Beyond and you're mapping and you hit the wall, you'll still hit like everything around you. So if I attack in front and a Beyond Pack spawns behind in front, like in the way of the Ancestral Call, it will also pop and kill itself and die. Um, and that's why we want to make sure that for mapping, we can keep our character as safe as possible. Now, one cool thing to note is this character uh, does eliminate all corpses when, like, when you're fighting. Um, so you don't ever have to worry about detonate dead. Even if you summon a totem, your totem will destroy corpses. The only exception is if a target dies from Herald of Ash, uh, then it will really or have a corpse. Um, the single target in this build is not going to be the greatest. It will be more than enough to map. If you're having issues with single target, there are a number of options you can do. You can have a weapon swap if you want. Um, you can use, I know people in chat were suggesting things like uh, Brutus Lead Sprinkler. You can try an Onigoroshi. You can just use Molten Strike. Or you can just level up and get more multipliers. Multipliers fix literally everything, as does a Warchief Totem with the character. Um, the goal of this build is to... Um, you kind of have to have a balance between scaling your secondary explosion and your initial hit. What that means is there's a multi-part attack that happens with, uh, not attack, but kind of like, uh, anyway. Basically, the explosion effect on Infernal Blow does not scale off the same modifiers as Infernal Blow. So if you scale physical damage that's converted to fire, your secondary explosion does not scale off of your weapon damage. So you need to kind of balance it between it. And things like Elemental Focus, Fire Penetration, these both scale the Explosion and the Initial Hit, which is good because the Explosion is a percentage of maximum life, which is scaling off another multiplier, so that's awesome. Things like Melee Physical are not going to work for the Explosion, so this should be like kind of like a last link that you want to go for. Uh, according to changes, Elemental Damage with Attacks does now work for the Secondary Explosion with the 3.0 changes. I can't confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they said, which means I believe this node and all of these actually work for it too. I'm not here to give misinformation, but I believe that's what one of the changes were. Um, so 
so yeah leveling the character has been an absolute breeze uh, we're looking at over 10k life seeing as i'm 5.3k without the combs heart uh, just to show you guys what it would look like with like an actual setup oh lag um texas please well, let's just put this on fire pan ellie focus melee yum yum go pop wow you can even tell there's like delay like i tap them they like lag for a second and then they pop look can you guys tell like i tap there's like a there's a little delay and then they pop this is what it feels like to play in eu permanently Oh, now it fixed. Here we go. No more delay now. Okay. Let me just portal out to talk a little bit more of, of the character. So, um, again, going with it, we're going to be running Flammability. Uh, we're also going to be running Herald of Ash. And we're going to have Aspect of the Spider. So I'll have like 40% mana left, which is quite a huge amount, to be honest. Uh, we'll most likely get Leech on our boots because we can't really use any physical Leech. Um, we do have Leech covered already with uh, Chieftain. We get 1% damage Leech, but Mana Leech we don't have covered. So we'll figure out that. I don't really want to spend the points to go to Duelist like, to get this. I really don't like this at all. Um, I'll most likely be swapping to the Abyss Gloves, and I don't need this belt at all. This is like just for leveling. So I'll probably swap to the Abyss Belt as well. Maybe even like the full Abyss set. We'll see exactly what's happening with that. The tree was pretty easy to navigate. Um, simply don't pick up any two-handed nodes because you're going to probably level Facebreaker and you just follow the tree and get life nodes and you're pretty much good to go. This is pretty self-explanatory. Nothing really too crazy about it. Um, in terms of damage nodes, I'm still going to get... Um, here, I still have to get Slaughter and Cleaving. This is pretty huge for like helping our single target. And then, of course, Abyss Jewels are pretty big. Um haven't really invested too much into jewels at the moment so yeah that's pretty much the character um should be really fun in maps getting like the screen wide explosions again again if you want more aoe out of the build you can totally play as a scion and that should help immensely with the aoe um what else is kind of cool with the character the damage leech from your totem is pretty nice just because the damage leech from your totem will help on like things that you're kind of scared of since this build isn't really made for single target you probably will like you know if you're running red maps it may take you like 10 to 20 seconds to kill a red tier boss um so like having this leech on your totem is really cool it gives you access to easily running element or damage on full life since you'll have leech yourself your totem will have leech and you'll have endurance charges regeneration which should really easily allow you to stay topped on hp um, the last node to get is either going to be Arahanagui's Moon Presence, which is really not bad because, again, it's another multiplier, uh, which will hit a bit of diminishing returns because of all the multipliers you stack against targets. But it also makes them deal less damage, and having targets deal less is really, really good. The flip side is you can get Ramako's Sunlight, which gives you a ton of fire res. Um, everything else is kind of whatever. The physical damage from hits taken as fire is okay. Um... You're going to have pretty good physical mitigation from endurance charges and like fortify and just armor in general. Um, the one big benefit of this to look at it is that fire resistance just helps with getting more chaos res and getting overcapped for elemental weakness maps. So it's really up to you. I don't know. I don't really have to do Uberlab for a little bit, but it's between it's between one of these two for Uberlab. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Uh, just to go over my links that I'm using, I've got... I don't know if these are the proper links. I still have to test out, but it's working right now. Elemental Damage with Attacks, Elemental Focus, Infernal Blow, Fire Penetration, Melee Physical, Ancestral Call, and then, of course, Melee Splash is added onto the weapon. And for my helmet, I've got Warchief Totem with Melee Physical, Added Fire, Elemental Damage with Attacks. Um, Ellie Focus is definitely going to be Added Fire, for sure, here. That's pretty much about it. Um... Another reason I wanted to make this character is because I got like a bunch of uh, a bunch of heralds. So just to show you them really quickly, because I know people are going to ask about this. This is going to be this is going to be kind of fun. So you guys have seen you guys have seen the current one that we've boomed with. So let's switch to another herald really fast. Uh, let's go with uh, cosmetics here. Herald. Oh, there's a flammability effect. I may have to get that. Let's go with divine herald really fast. I'll show you guys a smack with the divine herald. Smack looks okay. There's too much gore. All right, next Herald, let's go with uh, this one. 
Is this Gloom? I don't know if I've seen Gloom on Ash. Smack! Wait, that has an MTX? Did I actually put one on? It says it has Gloom MTX. I can't see. There's too much Boom Boom. Okay, so that one doesn't... That literally doesn't work. GG, please fix. Uh, let's test Gore with the extra Gore. Is this a thing? Oh, man. That looks very... That looks very gory. I kind of like that one. Alright, uh, Innocence is the one I've been using, and here's the Sin one. That one's pretty cool, too. That's, like, really, like, screen flashy. Well, I guess probably not as flashy as this one. This is the one we've been using. That one's just really blue. This one, this one makes me feel like I do more damage, because it's just, like... Oh, man. It looks like the AoE is bigger. Like, look at that! <laughs> Nothing lit nothing you shall all die feels amazing oh yeah and this circle comes from the uh this is the maddening presence that you see on here at the bottom anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves uh if you did as always you can catch me streaming live um at twitch.tv slash pox uh and remember if you like the video please feel free to like share and subscribe I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And if you're in Texas, I hope you survived the tornado. Take it easy, everybody.